Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. So I'm in Tazfur uh, in Silet. So I'm on one of the rooftop gardens. I've come to visit one of my relatives and we've got one of the gardeners with us. So I'll do a little interview with him and have a look at the things that he's growing. So by Afnar Kunbazu Afnar Garden. So I'm going to go to the garden. So I'm going to go so, no, okay, so that's a seasonal one coming to the end of its life. And this one, Okta. So we've got we've got uh, perennial chilies here. So that one the one that I just showed you lasts probably one season and these are perennials and they stay in all the way through. Denga, Dugi. So we've got some uh, uh, denga, as we call it, or data, dugi, Lime. but it's a it's type of kalalu, mustard leaves, just about bolting, fudina. Fudina. Hmm. like I'm done English fudina lan. Yeah, this is this is. Um, this is just a normal normal spear, you know, English mint. Harkul. Kira. Harkul. 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 Okay, um, so as a type of gourd, I'll get you some pictures up of that gourd uh, when I when I see one. A papaya tree, and if you just take a look at what they're growing in, so the containers that are being used, you know, plastic tubs, uh, plastic sacks, just for rooftop gardens, especially in a hot climate like this and a very damp climate is the kind of ideal. Bahor. Oh, Zegiran. Smell that. So that's the type of coriander. Zegiran, I say. Genda. Mm. Marigold. Lots of marigolds growing. Lots and lots of marigolds growing. See, see the companion planting. So we've got the chilies, we've got the marigolds together, we've got the coriander together, the mint right in the middle. Um, every So everything's just forced in together to grow together as well and it's set against this absolutely amazing backdrop I mean if you just look behind me we've got mangoes coconuts uh, different types so we've got beetle nuts quite a few different 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 uh, fruits everywhere you see there's a few sections of this uh, rooftop garden a few different people have done different things um, and it's just people who are occupying the flats downstairs that they're just taking a bit of space on the on the top in the middle of this city centre or this town centre area and they're just growing things here. So all the kitchen scraps, they're going in there. Mm. See, I'm also man ham khori. Yeah, um, cow dung, cow There's there's horse cow manure in here. So I'm kita khori. Also no, all all big door in Dubai. All tolo fatalata shokto shukna zinish. Ota tolo ekhod ekhod angul sari. Ar air badhe also no um jo kitchen rubbish badhe ada khan puri limo ta de. To badhe mati dimo air fure. Mm. Same style. See, yeah, you can get, see where I get my te technique go from with growing in containers, the way I mix the kitchen scraps and I mix the uh, container growing. Because these guys, they're growing like this and the, this is the way they've been growing for, for years and years and years. Exactly there. Lal shak nik there. Lal shak nik. That's what the big grower is. Yes. Like the Dugir family. No, Dubinai. Dubinai. Vegetables. Okay. So that's another type of uh, edible plant. Uh, the names don't come into my mind, but they eat the leaves. Um, and you got all the whole flower gas out there. It's a whole ice and out there. So we've got a papaya just growing by itself. Aloe hot dinner is like that. Okay. See. Is this Oh, no, Okay. Okay. 
that was a bit of an impromptu interview with someone uh, who just came up to tend his crops and I just grabbed him while I was up here. So I think I caught him by a bit of surprise, but I'm, I'm quite happy that he actually talked to us a little bit because <laughs> no one likes having a camera just stuck in their face to there. Come on, uh, let's have a look at what else is over here. So we've got... Is um, that Mango? Yeah. Something else? Are you sure? It looks like mango to me. Someone's having a fun time with chilies over here. So we've got lots of uh, chilies. These are going to be very, very hot. I can tell. Um, we've got some perennial purple chilies over here. Yes, you can see the size of the plants, and these are these are perennials because you can see the way that they're grown. Do you know with the very? Do you know in in the UK when we're growing them for one season or two seasons, the branches don't ever get as woody as this, or as as strong, you know, as thick as this. They do get woody, but I've never seen them get as woody as this because this feels like real wood. <laughs> look at that, look at that just behind me, right? We've got mangoes. Yeah, you could just pick mangoes. Yeah, oh my, I just need longer arms and I could pick a mango straight off the rooftop. That's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And there's coconuts over there. Uh, let's have a look what else we've got. So, again, if you look at this aubergine plant here, so we've got white aubergines here. There's a nice aubergine there, a couple of dead leaves. I've never seen this plant before. This is called Khafringa and it has a star shaped fruit on it, which is a little bit sour. Um, let's have a look over here. Oh, so henna. Uh, this is a henna plant. So if you've ever wondered what a henna plant looks like, it's a henna plant. Dinga. Some kind of Kalaloo again. Lemon plant. Oh, what are the, look at those insects. So a couple of shield bugs of some sort, but I've never seen that colour shield bug before. Another you know the two there, look. So a couple of shield bugs there. Plants for decoration. I love the foliage. I love the colours on these plants. Absolutely beautiful. So it's a nice little garden. And I mean, they've got quite a bit of space up here. But what people are doing is everyone who occupies one of the flats in the building downstairs, they've got a little bit above the roof of where they live. And that's where they're growing stuff on. So it's a nice little garden here. So we're in Taz, Tazfur Bazaar. So um, it's like a central built-up area where there's a lot of shops and a lot of in, you know a lot of um, buildings and that sort of thing. It built up industrialized sort of area. You can hear the noisy traffic behind me. It's not like in the villages where there's acres and acres of land, but they're making use of land. The people are you know they're actually growing stuff. Everyone wants to have some sort of little garden wherever they are. If I just took you over that side, so I mean, even down there, there's a little, it's a bit more ornamental down there, so a bit more f plants grown for foliage, but people are using whatever they can for containers, you know, plant pots, uh, bottles, concrete containers. You see, people here, they're, they're, they're sort of moving away from the villages and coming into built up city centre type areas for jobs and things, but they still want to bring that sense of nature with them and it's lovely to see, it's absolutely lovely, lovely to see. We'll continue this tour of gardens, different settings, uh, different the way different people are growing in different areas and we'll show you around, keep doing this in our little tour of Bangladesh. So I'll leave it there for this one. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi